So you can join world or play your own. Um, simple fishing off. Fight positioning. Borderless. Just crank everything, okay. this down okay let's start a game it looks like you're new here let's give your world a name what am i supposed to name my world bertha bertha is the name of our world it's like earth but girthier oh i should have called it girtha that would have been better Shame. What a shame. <sighs> All right. Run, little chicken. Press B to open your emote wheel. Oh, we're loading into Bertha. What do you name a world? I don't understand. People name planets <laughs> on, and stuff all the time. I don't. I don't get it. Okay, body type. Rotate. Oh. I really dislike when they keybind the rotate to scroll wheel, because you have to scroll like 10 times to get it to go all the way around. It's like, just give me a click and drag. I kind of like the chunky... A little pale. Uh, okay, T and R are my. That's so random. Okay. Those eyes are pretty cool. <laughs> and just like permanently closed. These are like old man in anime <laughs> eyes. I like it. Big old square ones. I like that. Eye color. Somewhere around there, sure. Ooh, eyebrows. <laughs> I can't see my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, come on, we need bigger eyebrows than that. Do you have to giggle every time I click on something? Stop giggling. It's not funny. Mouth. Oh, what is this H? <laughs> It just looks like their mouth is full all the time. That's cute. <laughs> Full smirk. <laughs> Hair. Nice. Cute. I like the little jiggle. Should we pick a cool hair color? Strange that there's no, like, really neon. But I like this dark blue. What about a green? No, nah, let's go with the blue. I like the blue. Okay. Got a little <laughs> side cut and clip action. Stop laughing. Oh, how about a pompadour? <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, there's quite a bit of hair options. <laughs> oh, this one's slick. The little tentacle dangling. <laughs> that one's cool, too. Oh, I've got some big hair. I just want to look like the coolest <laughs> druid. Oh, that's great. I love the turbans and the hijabs. Strong work. Oh, 
Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm torn. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be faced with such a difficult decision so early. <laughs> I kind of just vibe with this one. Although this one's <laughs> hyper adorable. We're reaching critical adorableness. That one's not bad either. <laughs> Should we go green if we're going to do like a... No, let's, let's keep with the blue. I like the blue. We do need to fix the eyebrows, though. Okay, eyebrows are fixed. Oh, yeah. Big bushy beard. Oh, <laughs> Abe Lincoln action. Hey, what is this Jafar ass? <laughs> okay, the... I don't know if the beard is looking fire with the <laughs> choice of hair. Oh, that one's not bad, actually. Maybe something a little shorter? That one's kind of cute. <laughs> Max cuteness. <laughs> do I like the hair in front of the face or do I like the slick back? Let's do this. I like this. Okay, let's move on. Facial details. What do we got? <laughs> Oh, is it like blush and stuff? <laughs> okay, cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you've got like blushes or you've got like... Blush? Is that supposed to be like vitiligo or something? That's cute. I love that. Can we get a more, like, natural color, though? I guess that's as close to white as you can get. I really like the little cat whiskers. They've got these little moon <laughs> things. Super cute. Okay, but well we gotta go with the vitiligo. Uh, we'll go he, him for pronouns. Voices, okay. <laughs> Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Oh. Oh, can you imagine just being a big old. Ho ho! Whoa! Okay, that's, that's too good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I dig it. Look at me go. Look at my dude. <laughs> ha ha. I'm vibing. Hold to complete. Let's go. Flower soil beds are sent up. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. Oh, I have to click through this? Okay. Is this like a poem? A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. This art is really cute. The author described an island in need, one like none, no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so... Okay, we've just thrown out the rhyming scheme. 
I was having fun there. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. Oh, cool boat. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tat. Okay, we're back to the rhyming now. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Chat. Oh. Welcome to Azoria. Cute. That's me. Hello. Talk. Hello. The responsible mayor of Azoria. Uh, quest. My goodness. Look what the tide brought in. Are you okay? My name is Erp, and... Your name is Erp, and you found a message in a bottle? Uh -huh. I was the one who threw it in the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Damn. Merritt? With the jabs? You're soggy. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who's tried to make it to our island. Not a good sign. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends. But we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. There's an active volcano that's been threatening to go off. There's also a wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine. Don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Seems like this isn't a good place to have a town. Yep, Azoria is a real paradise. Okay. Don't go. Well, you can't actually because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. Wow, I'm trapped here? I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. If I'm the only one that's visited, how can you have a patented welcome package? I don't have any coffee left. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check your new home. Moving in. Message in a bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. Discover and enter your new home. Open your welcome package. I had like Diablo vibes. Back in Tristram, accepting quests. I promise you'll love it here. You really didn't sell me on it like at all though. Okay, homestead. Back under, oh. Oh my, do I have to be this close all the time? Wait, what's going on? Almanac quests. In progress. Side quest, jobs, romance, friends. Okay, my almanac. Okay, this is everything as I unlock it. Fun. Whoa, look at all the different fishing rods. I wonder if that's just like four different levels of quality. That'll be boring if it's just quality. Digging power, efficiency. Okay. Am I supposed to pick one of these? No. This is just everything I have. Skill perks. It would be cool if you got to, like, make a build. But I, I just have all these, or what? Why are you showing me these? Okay. Fashion. Okay, I want to look at settings. Gameplay. 
Hmm, I guess there is no camera control. I feel like I'm real close. Complete chapter one to unlock multiplayer. Oh, okay. I see. Help, I'm stuck. Calendar, it is Sunday the 1st. It's sunny. Spring. Year one. So I have a feeling like this is going to be... A mishmash of like all... The best things that... Uh... Oh, what is this? What is that? <laughs> I discovered a recipe for barrels. Pipe. I feel like this is just going to be a mishmash of all... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, that was kind of fun, actually. Not bad. Can I get in that boat? Oh, hell yeah. Whoop. This is like the main pier. What is... Almanac construction. Oh, this is because I got that barrel. Undiscovered item to make barrels. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's wood. Oh, there's another thing down there. Investigate. Picnic basket recipe. Oh, I just want to find all the... I'm going to talk to you really awkwardly while standing on your table. Ah, there you are. Spring is the best time of the year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. Chat. Spring forage is the tastiest. I was looking forward to picking huckleberries all winter. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She really... She works really hard to take care of the town. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face here. Springtime is when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Feels so good when the weather gets warmer. Good for you on coming to Azoria. Must have been quite the journey. They're just making that, like, Zelda Great Fairy Fountain noises. I'm looking forward to planting my spring crops. Sugar peas, here we come. Pipe. It'll be summer sooner than we think. Chat. I love watching the blossoming trees in the spring. When spring comes, I feel like the muses are decorating the world with blossoms. Cute. Aww. I mean, it's not bad. They're not like overly current level. I don't have an axe. Okay, goodbye. This was sort of awkward. Ooh. Another thing. Anvil recipe hype. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, jeez. Peach checkered rug. Nice. Sweet. What is that thing? Grab that thing. Grab it. Okay, I suppose that... Oh, fun. I suppose I should go get my welcome package. Rocking chair. Hype. I feel like that's going to give me all the tools. A cot. Sick. Beach wood fence. Pretty cool. Decorative bucket. Blue checkered rug. Nice. Clay path. Sick. I do like that. I feel like I can go. Oh my god, that frog is so cute. No! Don't run. Oh. Are you 
is so adorable. Archery target. I like that I feel like I can go anywhere. Training dummy. Oh, look at that big chomper. Ribbit rug. Okay, maybe I should... Oh, what is that? Oh, is that the shade that the mayor was talking about? <laughs> Wooden picket fence. I'm just getting distracted by the, all this stuff to pick up. Where the heck am I? Is that me? I think so. Okay, I went way over. I thought I had it tracked already. Wait, did it just go away again? No. Okay. Still tracked. Oh, I see. There we go. It's popped up now. Whoa. Hey. Can I go through that? Dang it. <laughs> wizard's mop. Who's this guy? The wisest wizard in town. Also the only wizard in town. That's cute. What's it like working on a farm? I have no clue, dude. I just got here. Why would you ask me that? Awkward. You swim like a fish, though. It's really cute. Oh, there's a recipe. Green checkered rug. I got all the checkered rugs. You don't know about how many checkered rugs I got. Can I get up there? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Clay pot. What's this? Oh. Town center that way. Okay. Oh, I knew it. Pink checkered rug. I'm going to start a checkered rug business. What's going on over here? Wait, is this my house? No. Whose house is this? Whose house is this? Whoa. Well, okay. Does not want me to go up there. Phil. Oh, what? Where did, where did my watering can come from? <laughs> A Jew drug. Oh, no. I got way, way too excited about that. Okay, getting out of the water is a little tricky. Whoa. Field stone fence. Ow. I do like that you can swim, though. Is there a place under the waterfall? No secrets? What about this one? Nope. Lame. Come on, get out there, bud. What is this? Peridot seal. That is still activation requirements. Oh, I need the seal. Okay. Okay. Well, aesthetically, I'm really liking this. Oh, free stuff. <laughs> Customization mirror. Hype. Can I sleep in this? Get in the bed. Cute. Okay, let's go. Mail. Welcome to Azoria, dear future friend. Once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness, separated them from their friends and even their homes. 
is so weirdly written. But I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, I've been reaching... Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas. But a brave adventurer can overcome any danger. Will you join us in Azoria? I mean, I'm here, aren't I? Okay. So that one letter was making my mailbox overflow like that? I thought she sent me a care package. Maybe it's inside. Oh, there it is. Welcome to your new home. What's this? Oh, baby. You got backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack and view or use items you collect. Cool. Wait, that's it? Wait, what? Her gift to me was a backpack? Return to Merit. Home options. It's not time to modify your house settings yet. You will be able to do so soon. Oh. Okay. I guess I better just do the quests. Oh. You followed me here, you weirdo. Hello there. Azoria's... Azoria's the better for having you. Redeem quest. So, what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? It was just like an empty satchel. I knew you'd love it. Azori is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather, weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special erp touch. You make me name the planet, and now you want me to name the house? Um... Jeb. Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. You mean Jeb. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one. Right here. This is the farm. It has seen better days and require will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take you too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. Hey, we did it. You get a set of starter tools. Using your tools is easy. Go up to an object and press left mouse. The right tool for the job will be used automatically. See, that's a really nice little touch. To make it... Um, oops. Just the ease of access and quality of life stuff that they've added. Just make sure to keep an eye on your energy. Uh -huh. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done, and you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula. From the land around your home, you can keep all the materials you can gather. Cool. I don't... Can I hide this? Is there UI settings? Gameplay. HUD positioning. General. Hmm. Okay, I got a new quest. Got it. I also got a bunch of almanac stuff. It's gonna bother me if the exclamation marks just stay there. I got a ton of new construction stuff. Which is sick. Got a basket and a broom. Sorry, a mop. Wait, why didn't my rocking chair ungray itself like the rest of this stuff did. K 
candelabra. I got so many checkered p carpets. I'm going to have the most carpets. There's going to be so many dang carpets. And I got a couple fences. Wait, why didn't these unlock? Oh, because I haven't crafted any yet? Okay. That's fair, I think. I really don't like how big all this UI is. Inventory. Map. Okay. Let's start clearing some stuff. There's no, like, persistent music. Meh. What? Oh. I thought it got mad at me for a second. Wait, can I catch this guy? Can I not change items automatically? Oh, I don't have a net. That makes sense. What am I doing? Oh, I need to do stone and arugula. Arugula is this stuff. Foraging level two. What does that mean? Okay, we can't tire ourselves out too much, I don't think. Okay, we got some music going. One thing I always did when I played like Stardew and stuff is I left specific trees around for like aesthetic reasons. I think I'm gonna leave this tree right here. At least for a little bit until I learn how to like plant new trees or something. Logging level two. Heck yeah. Wait, what does that mean? Crafting station? Oh, sick. Raw materials. Okay. Food and drink. Okay. Grilled seafood. So random. Oh, cool. Round wooden woven stool. Rustic stool. What is the difference? Oh. More info. Decorative but practical surface. So I feel like this stuff adds to your house's ability to recharge you maybe that's why it has the three different symbols on it i'm not 100 percent sure we'll find out i'm assuming skill perks wait so i can't see the level of my skills progression oh, okay here we go this is what i was looking for we got plus one logging power. It's pretty sick. Animal care. Cooking, magic, potion brewing. Critter catching, fishing, farming, mining, logging. Okay. Fun. I still feel like the cursor movement is super awkward. There's something weird about it. I think I need to save my energy for the right things. Hey. 
return to merit. I don't know why I have a Q, Q and E aren't bound to anything. Talk. Uh -oh. Hello. Happy to have you around. Okay. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself. But it's as easy as falling down. It's as easy as falling down. Is she insinuating that I fall down often? Or that gravity doing all the work makes it easy to fall? I'm just going to move on. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, check your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. Craft and place a round woven stool inside your home. Okay. Oh, okay, we got a new menu thing. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. Build catalog. Oh, wallpaper. Trim. Whoa, do you see all the trim options? Dang. Flooring decor. Build menu. Cozy furniture. Whoa, that is a big ass stool. Quest what ha what happened? Reclaim colors. Oh, okay. I have I need to unlock the colors first. Understood. Exit construction. Okay. Use. Hey, look at that. Just chilling. Chilling. Um, it's getting a little dark in here. Let me turn on a light. Okay. It's it gave me like a plus energy thing. Q. What's Q do? Oh, okay. Increases max energy. Current regeneration rate zero. The rate at which your health, energy, and mana replenish automatically when home. Tomorrow's regeneration rate one. Benefits from newly built items are gained after sleeping. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, on the top left, it's showing me that after I sleep, I'm going to get plus one to my energy. I like that items can, like, increase your max. I like that. Can I build a stool? Why don't you let me build a stool? Right, let's just do the quests. It'll be fine. Hey, lady. Uh, hi. hi. Happy to have you around. You said that last time. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Herb. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. <laughs> Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Cool. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Have a cooking fire on your farm. It's the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's mussels on the beach, too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. I have to cook my cooking, put my cooking fire down there. 
Okay. C. Build catalog cooking fire. Well, I want to put stuff around my cooking fire, right? Right. Let's do it right there. Cook something. Use. Arugula. Pair one arugula. Grilled greens plus 15 energy. Nice. And you can walk away while it's cooking. And then it's got a little gift. Cute. Press X to collect all. Sweet. Okay, let's clear out the area around our new cooking fire. Zorg is the better for having you. The joy of farmyard cooking. Let me see what you've cooked. Just like shoves it in her face. Wait, why is my camera so dark? There we go. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooking food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money on the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. She wants me to get jazzy with it? A little jazz on it? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right now. Let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Way to bury the lead there, Merritt. Go get the materials, construct some soil beds on your farm, and plant one seed at each. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, use... Oh. Nice. Transfer stack. Let's just take everything. Take it all. Where do I want to start? Okay, if my road is like this path here, that means I want to start like here-ish, where I'm standing. Okay. Soil bed. Wait, how many am I supposed to make? Three? All right. Uh, press left to plant turnip seeds. Oh, I need, probably need to exit. Getting spam messages. Turnip seed, sure. Nice. Can I water them? Hey. Turn up. From humble beginnings. <laughs> Wonderful job. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground-grown goodness. Say that three times fast. 
Just don't forget to water the seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields, as farmers always say. Don't leave them alone. Ha ha, we have fun. You've done so much to improve the farm already, I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the Mariner. He's probably near his home in Stay a Wild Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Sure. Why can't I use this fire to cook? Okay. Oh wait, I have that uh, energy giver. What are these slots for? Equipment maybe? Wait, that barely gave me any energy at all. It was a ruse. I think I gotta go this way. Homestead. You mean Jeb. Cute. Get those huckleberries. Juicy spring berries you can share with your friends. Plus two energy. Whoa, okay, that barely moved. How much energy do I have? Gardening and crops. Got it. Food and drink. Toasted berries. Ooh. Complete chapter. Okay. Chill. I'm picking berries and stuff. What's up this way? North frozen plateau, west plains of plenty. Ooh. <laughs> Wooden cross fence. Whoa. Chill. I can't go in here. These vines are creepy. At least it doesn't take energy to <laughs> hay bales. Nice. Doesn't take any energy to uh, pick these flowers. Oh, tea leaves. Nice. Okay, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. Horizontal board fence. Can I squeeze back there? One more tea. I was not expecting foraging. I don't know why. Oh, I almost missed that tea leaf. Who's this little guy? <laughs> Cinnamon woven rug. Huh. Eager to teach anyone who comes <laughs> to her lessons. Are you finding your footing yet? I know it's hard. Uh, to be a new person in town, but everyone is really nice and he'll fit right in. Cool. Thanks for nothing. Plains of Plenty, Stay a Wild Bay, Town Center. Get some more tea leaves. Whoa, look at this. 
That's cool. Hey, Tan Shag Road. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, is my watering can fill up just by like throwing myself into the water? It does. That's so funny. That's the best. It's like, yeah, technically everything in your pockets fills up. Yeah, I feel like that's a dangerous jump. Wasn't sure if you wanted chat ads with only one minute. Oh, cheers. Thank you. I did not even notice. I just looked up and saw the uh, timeout message. I do not have my chat app open so I did not hear I didn't oh look at that crab come here crab no come here I can't catch him coral coral why coral okay the animation of that is a little slow for my taste, but, uh, muscles. The sound is, like, glitching out in weird ways. Free stuff. <laughs> Quid vase. Cool. Hello? See a thing. Bamboo rug. How many rugs are in this game? I don't know why the audio is being so glitchy. Aqua roving rug. Nice. Oh, can I take that barnacle? Nope. All right, sub fisher dude. I know. Uh. uh, skip update. The like music and ambience keeps cutting in and out. And it's just sound effects that play. Uh, there's lots to do on the island, landlubber. Talk to people, learn what you can. <laughs> Good to see you, Erp. No one's told you. I'm Eddie. Zoria's old mariner. I wish I could press, like, space bar or something to move that along. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hold anything against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Oh, this guy wants to fight? <laughs> Never mind that. You haven't lived until you've fished. Believe me. Give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of rod and reel? Sounds dirty. Hot dog. I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> Go out there, catch a fish, any kind you like, salt or fresh. I'll even give you my old rod. May it serve you well. Oh, hi. Press mouse wheel down or mouse wheel up to change equipment. Okay. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish is bitten, you can get to reel in fast, but all not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up, and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come tell me all about it. Heck yeah, let's go catch a fish. I saw a big guy over here. Uh, 
That was a little... Oh, that was too much. Bro. Come here. Okay, I gotta get my Animal Crossing aim better. Oh. Okay. Hey! We caught a salmon. Hi. Right. Let's get another one of those bad boys. Bro. Pay attention to me. I like that it's not just like an Animal Crossing style where you're just like mashing the button. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he turned on me. Nice. I'm going to make some dang fish. Oh, wait. Yo, you can only hold 10 stacks of these. That's not good. Salmon are worth 20 bucks. Okay, these three slots are for your equipment. Got it. <laughs> Once caught a tuna that was so big it nearly swallowed my ship with me on it. Fed the whole town for a week. Heck yeah. Seem to have done well for yourself. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. Look at my guy's confusion. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel can teach you about critter catching, and if you're gonna wanna And you're gonna wanna pay attention to that. What my favorite What my favorite fish How can you be asking me that Each fish is special in their own way From soul to swordfish I loves them all I want to see what you got in your shop Oh you just got better rods 5,000 gold Dang <laughs> Okay. Backpack full. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Ambience is cutting out again. West Town. He's up this way. stuff. Iron fence. Nice. Plains of plenty. Okay, the ambience needs to chill. Clay brick path. Greetings. Good for you. Good for you on coming to Azoria. Must have been quite the journey. All the writing in this is like really weird. Uh, redeem quest. A new face. When I heard someone washed up on shore, I could hardly believe it. Erp, hey, it's nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we had someone new on the island. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm? Wonderful. 
Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how to catch bees and other critters on Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azorians by a wide margin. Now, don't you worry about the critters. Don't you worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Cute. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Pipe. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter and improve your chances. Ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Why don't you go take a couple swings and catch a few critters, then come back and show me what you've got. Hello? 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 It's reading my mouse input. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Catch four critters. My inventory is going to be a problem, isn't it? Who do I sell stuff to? Just the sound cutting in and out is intense. What was that? Oh, free energy. Do I have to, like, put stuff in a box like you do in Stardew Valley? No new mail. I guess I can put store some stuff. Hello? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, my, like, camera and stuff is, like... Glitching as well. Software may need a... Yeah. I just noticed that my, like, stream labs also looks really choppy. But the game isn't choppy on my computer. The problem is, is that I can't, like, bring up the menu. Oh. You sure you want to quit the game? Okay. Looks choppy on this. Okay, so the stream. Maybe my computer's just. Topping out a little bit. Doggo went smoothly past. Yeah, he's gunning for that water. Um, okay, well, Steam is also trying to f freeze on me right now, which is great. Cam is fixed now. Yeah, I wonder if I could, like, bring down the quality on Steam is, like, not responding. ba 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 -da. Well... This is fun. What's uh So how's everybody doing? Come on, Steam. Figure it out, friend. Uh 
Steam client web helper is not responding. Okay. I got Starfield downloading, so I thought it was just me. Oh, okay. Fair. Fair enough. No, I don't know what was going on there. It was... It wasn't... It didn't feel too bad in-game. Like, there was one or two maybe little hiccups. Um, but it's just the audio, really. Which is strange. Okay, Steam is relaunching. I'm going to delete the spam text messages I got. Best guess is memory leak. And you think I'm going to be good just uh, restarting here? There was a day one, like a launch patch, I guess, because the um, the code they gave us to check it out um, was part of the pre-launch build. All right, continue. Just takes time for memory leak to really take effect. Yeah, true. So they 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 do have one launch patch up, but I don't know. I'm assuming they're just going to keep their eyes on it. I know the team is really excited for this game to be out. Nice. Wait, what? I'm set all the way back to this quest? Oh no. This was like so many quests ago. Quests ago. Uh, okay. I guess I'm just going to power through it. Turn to merit. We'll meet the mariner. Okay, so we're not too far behind. We just dilly daddled a lot. Which I guess is a bummer because we picked up a lot of stuff. Whoa. I think just tried to push me off. Try to pick up all the... Oh, the frogs are so cute. Coco Shag Rug. Oh. Hey, bundle. Ah. Hey, fence. Nice.
Where's, okay, we got that one last time. Oh, there was one over here, wasn't there? Yeah. That guy had nothing to say. Then we went over here. We caught this guy. We also picked up a bunch of this stuff, but... I don't know if they're going to be worth anything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. We're sort of back on track. We just have to do the fishing thing again. I like that if you just like keep letting it go, it doesn't really accumulate pressure. You just like click your mouse button a million times. Hey. Okay. We don't need to do more than one. Oh wait. I keep exiting the conversation by accident. Thinking that I'm fast forwarding. Okay, beekeeper time. Uh, oh. <laughs> nice. This way? Yeah. Let's try and save first. Oh, it's all good. Imagine being that poor fish dealing with the real spam, right? You'd be like, ah, uh, uh, uh. like driving down the road and just hitting a really rocky part. Yeah, okay, let's go catch some critters. Hey, that was easy. Hello. Hold left mouse button to sneak. I'm not seeing any critters though. Oh. Nice. Common. Oh, there's some slugs. Oh, two for one. What up? Oh, it's like the actual town square. Market table. Oh, this is where I can sell my fish. And my mussels. Hey, that's cool. I like that a lot. Return to Mel. Okay. Whoa. Firefly, nice. Hey. Feels good when the weather gets warmer. You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to your conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. There are many critter collectors on this island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Azoria who'd like to buy. You could sell just about anything, really. And then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency if no one's told you. Selling things is really Pearl's specialty. She's the chairwoman of the Merchant's Guild. 
She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her at the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you. Nice. Go meet Pearl the chairwoman. I'm assuming she's back at that town center. Yeah. Oh, there's another firefly. Pearl. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face here. Hard earned florins. I'm Pearl, head of the Merchant's Guild. Oh, cute. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of. What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? It's true, you can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market, and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now, it's not the time for questions, but it's time to learn. Pay attention because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers, sold. Clay, sold. Spring peeper, sold. It's that. And it's so easy a chiku could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables, and by the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who's buying everything? Don't worry about it. Don't, that's shady. Don't worry about it. Pay no attention. That's why I have a pillow that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table to sell them. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Nobody wants to buy snails? Guess I could sell some moths and some fireflies. Wow, not even in jars, just like moths sitting on the table. Wait, so I don't have to care like if anyone's gonna buy it, if anyone wants anything? They just automatically are sold? Happy to have you around. Oh, we're acquaintances now. Great. Could Azoria have had... Where's everyone running off to? king or a queen? Maybe. The Marquis certainly believe he's royalty. Uh, chat? What is happening? Oh. We're just done? A new day has begun. Okay. A thorny problem. Can I build anything new? Wait, so I don't have to find recipes for any of this stuff? Oh, maybe I do. table. Oh yeah, I got all these cool things. A perfect basket for a meal outside. A beach log. Tons of carpet. I guess I probably need like a thread maker or something. New almanac entry. Oh my god, look at all that mail. Multiplayer is open. My fellow Fae Farmer, do you know your friends can join you in the wonderful world you've created? All you have to do is press escape, open the main menu, and select multiplayer to begin. You can invite your friends to your online game. 
Or if you'd rather host a local game, ask each of your friends to go to their title screen and then join world screen to proceed. Okay. Interested in dyes? I hear you're new in town. Maybe you'd like some dyes to start coloring your furniture and clothes. Heck yeah. I'm sending you a sample of some of my best. If you want more dyes, find me in the market. Nice. Scattered scrolls. A recent magical windstorm that sent debris flying had a most peculiar effect on our shop. In brief, the wind scattered many of our recipe scrolls in all direct... Oh. I've already picked up like a hundred of them. Uh, the magical invention permits you to change your hair, body shape, and face. You can transform your appearance at will, blah, blah, blah. Magical mischief. So you might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Can you come over and talk? Please. Alaric the Wizard. Okay. Oh, what was that? Get that ladybug. Hey. Get to water our radishes. All right, I sold all my fish. Find a lair. Where was where was he again? I'm gonna get this butterfly, peacock butterfly. Oh, how did I miss that? Come on now. Yo, I'm just nabbing all these things. Get it. Hey! I was watching a dwarf fortress series and the leader was giving a lecture on the other dwarves about dying. And he was a master dyer. Dude was a necromancer. Wow. Aye. Okay, I got a cute little frog friend. Seen hopping around the lowlands in the spring. Okay, let's talk to wizard, not Harry Potter boy. If you've got any magic-y questions, you can always come to me. My name is Alaric, your humble wizard. The mayor lets us pick our title. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Oh, that's kinky. <laughs> You're wondering why I mailed you. Why are you crying? Okay, so um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic, to be specific. As in, uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. I didn't mean to worry you. No, wait. I do. Because it's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing. Well, that's good to hear. I fear nothing. Uh, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. I know what I must do. I must build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up I've forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you can make me some home cooked food? I've been eating raw mussels and I think I'm about to turn into one. Dude wants me to make him a grilled seafood. Woo. Any muscles? Nope. I need to go to the bitch. What was that? No shipping contracts today due to whirlpools. Okay. Starting to get some I 
can hear the sound starting to kick in and out again. Hey, double. Uh, I guess I gotta go back to my home. I like these little shortcuts. They're fun. Grill up some muscles. Silt and sand. How do I get that? Oh. Okay. I like that it just automatically picks the right tool for you. It's nice. Uh, collect all. Oh, there's some silt right there. Beverage station. Okay, so we got three silt from that. I need silt and sand or or sand. And sand. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's go find Weeping Wizard. He's this way, right? Yeah. Deliver broiled self shellfish. Hey, you're back. I smell food. Feel the life return. Oh, it's the mailman. Look at him picking out the wizard's bills. Can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working on my in my L alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning, you'll have your very own magical staff. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Okay. Sure. Can I catch those little fishies? Oh, there's a big fish there. I scared him. Stop scaring the fish. Get out of the water. Is that going to be good? Is that a good spot? Get in there. Oh, this guy's a fighter. Oh, so close. Hey, a river cod. Nice. Sound's starting to cut out again. Wait, where am I going? What am I doing? Spooky woods. Why does it keep blinking on me? Stop blinking. Some new almanac stuff. I'll get rid of these while we're here. All right, beverage station. I need ten clay. Dang. 
All right, I need to go get some sand from the beach. Got a bunch of new fences. Cool. Food and drink. Charred fish. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's a bumblebee. Get over here. I can't believe no oh yesterday this was zero now it's ten inflation's crazy in Azoria okay, look for sand See any sand piles? Oh, maybe I need to go to the beach. Maybe that would help. It's starting to feel a little jittery again. Camera's okay? Sort of. Ah! Oh my god. I almost died. Hey, there's some sand. Meh. Farming level two. What was that? I don't know. What happened again? Oh, did I just get like bonus XP or something? Is that what that's trying to signify? pretty cool. The only thing my camera is blocking is like the amount of stuff I'm picking up. It just like pops up in the bottom corner. Ooh. Simple plank fence. I don't want to lose this. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Dirt. <coughs> I just discovered dirt. Oh. Yeah. Split log fence. That's cool looking. <laughs> Beige rug. Okay. <laughs> Open crate. Cool. For the aesthetics. Sneaky, sneaky. Gotcha. Oh, froggy boy's mine. Defeat the thorns with. Okay. So I just need to, like, chill. I got enough sand. We can. Audio is just all over the place. We can definitely make some more beds. Oh, I need more silt.
I mean, this is cozy. I think it's only going to get better with time, too, because we're going to unlock more things. Right now, it's not very magical. So hopefully, once we get the, like, magic wand or staff or whatever Buddy's building for us, it'll feel more magical. I, I don't have any more seeds, though. Spirit energy. Heck yeah. What was making that noise? Oh! Backpack full. Oh, he's just sitting there. That took way too long. I just feel like the guy mentioned um, having like a terrarium or something at some point and now I'm just going to keep one of everything. I don't want to miss out on that. I'm gonna go sell I'm gonna go sell all my extra ladybugs and stuff. Oh, that's just a full table of ladybugs. All the mats I'll keep. So much fun. So much fun. Don't forget to regularly check your mail. Okay. Frogs just in their zone rotating. Yep. Um. Oh, I can access my storage from here. That's cool. Can I build anything new? Ooh, a rug. Wait, what? Oh my god. You can make your own rug sizes? A beach log. What do I need for the mirror? A different type of wood and some sort of cloth or something? Clay pot. Can I put it on the stool? No. Cute. Oh my god, that's terrifying. What do I have, like, until midnight? I just want to get, like, a couple more logs. Oh, come on, you're not that tired yet. Acting like a baby. this thing. Oh! Okay. Simple magic staff times two. 
More details. Oh, so you just get... Oh, I see. It's just telling you how you made your money. Okay. Done. Oh, cute. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I've ever witnessed. Oh, why don't I get a cool cape like that? It looks can be deceiving. Because the thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. What is that? Good natured Azorians need no longer cower. Discuss. I want to be this guy. <laughs> Wait, that's it? I don't actually get to do it? Oh, cool. Oh, this is where I can use that tea. Oh, you get protection from the heat for four hours? That's hype. Cool. Um... Can I collect anything else while I'm out? I don't have those recipes. I need a magical item. Let's go. Where am I going? I'm returning to Alaric. Oh wait, let me water this stuff first. Wait. Get out of here, you stinking vines. Okay, you got this game. I forgot I hadn't collected any of these after resetting. Wait, what the heck? Not a shop? Okay, I'm leaving. I thought Buddy was on this road. Oh wait, yeah, this is his place. Oh, I guess I have to go inside. Not gonna wait for me outside anymore. Oh, look how cool this place is. <laughs> Violet rug. Dang it, I want your cool bookshelf. You did great with the thorns. I can't wait to teach you more spells. Chapter 2 complete. Okie dokie. I hear a ch chimey thing over here. Oh, what is that? No! It's a rare frog. Oh wait, no. Something's still making a chiming noise. Is 
Sounds like it's coming from like right here. What? Oh, is this the seed guy? Oh. What do we got? Plum, apple. Oh, these are trees. Heckin' cute. Um, what do we want? I want to buy some seeds. I want a... Peach tree? Apple tree? If, if this was me in real life, I would pick apple tree. So I'm gonna pick apple tree. What do you sell? Oh, you got normal seeds. Beans, cauliflower, turnips. Pepper seeds, farming level 20. Potato seeds. Do potatoes have seeds? Five. Wait. My thing is eight. Right? I guess we're growing beans. What do you got? Chat. I don't want chat. Upgrade home. You need 2,000 bucks. 25 of an undiscovered rock and 25 logs. Okay. Well, your shit is expensive. <laughs> what do you got? Bookshelf wallpaper? Spectacles? Decorative books? Are potato seeds just potatoes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the potato seeds. I don't feel I don't feel great about it. Oh, cool. Hats and outfits and stuff. I don't want a beekeeper hat. Pajamas. An adventurer hat. Oh, is this the person that sent me die? No. Okay. What do you got? General goods. She's got a bag hook. That's cute. Inventory upgrade. 500. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have bought that. Tree. Uh, we got shelves. Oh, but I need to learn how to make a shelf first. Wall clock, simple ladders. I love all the decorations. This is so cool. The decorations are great. I'm just kind of doing whatever, right? For the day, I guess I can clear more of my farm. Let's focus on that. And the game can focus on giving me audio properly. Oh, but it's like stumbling on my stream again. What the heck? Okay, I can't get rid of the vape. What a jump. 10 out of 10. Oi. Oh, it's my farm. Nice. I still haven't, like, perfectly mapped out all of the... the map in my brain, so, like, I'm still surprised when I wind up where I'm supposed to be. Um... Okay, I can't kill the big log. But I can kill these. This one's in a weird spot, so I'm gonna take it down. Oh, but I can't forget to plant my seeds. 
let's do that first. Turnip seeds, beans. Water them bad boys. I hope we get sprinklers. Okay, then how do I plant the uh, tree? Apple sapling. Um, do I want to have like a full or orchard or? Oh, well, maybe I'll do like an orchard that runs parallel to like my path. So I'll put it. This is the edge right there. So I'll put it like right here. Cute. Don't chop down your sapling. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. game's a lot of fun. I do get... I saw a couple of comments that were like, this feels like a mobile game. And I think, like, the UI is not my favorite. It does look like a mobile game. So I can kind of see where they were coming from with that. It doesn't feel like a mobile game, like it feels like a real fully fledged farm sim. Stardew slash Animal Crossing vibes, I love it. I need a freaking axe upgrade already. These big trees are just right in the worst spot. Oh wait, I was going to see if I can create a path. Paths. Clay path. See, dirt paths take... So I think I'm going to do three wide path. Wow, it takes three pieces of clay each. That's rough. That's centered, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Then I'll have a nice little path coming through here, breaking off, coming over to whatever this is, a chicken coop of some kind. Oh, shit. Get out of here. this though? Leaves? Shovel isn't strong enough to dig up leaves? What kind of weak ass shovel is this? How rude. Is there no... Oh, that's terrifying. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Violet rug. I don't need any more rugs. Oh, there's one way down there. Okay. Can I make that? How do I? Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Okay, now I can't get back up. Good thing, because I found another one. What is, is this another home? Oh, what the heck? You got one of those child's beach toy show, right? Just a plastic little guy. What? This is a whole other farm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I 
Let me get around. I need to go back up there. I need to cross that bridge. You know that old saying, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it? I got to it, and I need to get back. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there's combos? Oh, sick. That's a sweet combo. Okie dokie. We're going to take the long way around, I guess. Get done. So this is another farmstead. Wait, this isn't the same bridge. Oh, it got creepy over here. This is the bridge I crossed. Mysterious Grove. Oh, I can't get up there, though. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Okay. Get out of here. trouble again. All right, we can make some sweet teas now. Not like sweet tea, but you know what I mean. So many new Almanac entries. I just wish I could tone down the UI. The UI is like way too much sometimes. I like, I like the vibes though. We're chilling with the vibes. Now we can make a cooling drink or a warming drink. Um, I do have to take a quick bio break though. So I will, I think I can save. So I'm gonna sleep until tomorrow, sure. The game's just like slowly catching up on all the stuff I saw. Oh, I didn't sell anything last night. That was silly. Chapter 3, A Port in a Magical Storm. Okay. Let me quickly take a bio break, and we'll be right back to play a little bit more.
What? Did the music stop? Why? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Why'd the music die? You've got mail. You've done a fine job with the thorns. Up. And I think you might be able to help with something big. Come find me your old pal, Eddie. I'll be standing by the docks looking out to sea. Okay. Let's make sure we water our stuff. Phoenix uses Unity, right? I uh, couldn't tell you, to be honest. I believe this is unity, though. Oh, can I pluck these now? Hype! Oh, no. Let's go leap into the water, I guess. Wee! Overbearing. What is that? What is this eyeball thing? What happens when it reaches zero? Do I have any plant? I have one turnip seed. I didn't get any seeds from that. Sparkly noise is back. I don't envy audio programmers. Mad tough. Oh, for sure. Oh, wait, is it that fish that's sparkly? It is. Give me that sparkly fish. Oh my god, I almost lost it. This one's tough. Hey. Wait, was it that fish that was sparkling? A rare, shiny, silvery freshwater fish. I still hear the sparkling. Where am I going? I'm going. I need to buy some more seeds. thinking that shiny frog didn't delete its audio generator well that fish was definitely sparkling so maybe the fish sparkled too close to the sun I'm just gonna sell these turnips because I need the money uh, where's big Dan the fishing man down here right What do you need? I have a tail to shiver your timbers. Started one night, I was sleeping in my bunk aboard the Grace. Grace is my ship. Find one she is. Well, she was. 
I woke up that night with soggy socks. That wasn't so bad, but when I rummaged through the sea chest to find another pair, it was full of fish. That's when I realized that Grace was caught up in a vicious whirlpool and she was going down. I grabbed my luck and fishing hat and leapt into the cold water. Furiously, I kicked and swam until I reached the shore. I looked back and watched my Grace sink beneath the waves. But I could always build another ship. What I can't do is fill bellies with fish I haven't caught. I can't let good folks of the Zoria starve. They're counting on me to provide delicious fishes for the chowders and dishes. You've still got that rod I gave you. Do you think you could increase the market's fish supply? Sell any fish on the market table or produce stand. Sure. For 500 bones? I will do just that. I already have a good fish. But I guess I can catch some more. Come on, there we go. A Solomon. Come here, fishy. Oh, that was way too far. Come here. Crazy fish going on over here. This guy's sparkling too. Maybe they just like sparkle if you've never caught one before. Oh, this guy's definitely harder. Sardine. Okay. Let's go sell some fish. Hi ya. Hey, what is this? Oh. Oh. You don't like sell anything? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Another rug. Oh, I got all the rugs in the world. <laughs> Crate fabric. Nice. This is the tavern. Town hall. I guess I should see... Uh, how much it costs to upgrade my stuff? <laughs> Undiscovered item. Oh. You're just gonna giggle in my face. Alright, let's sell some fish. Kind of hard to tell where it's coming from, too. It kind of sounds like it's coming from back here. 
But then it switches the audio over to the town hall stuff. It's gotta just be a bug. Okay, let's plant some seeds. Are the shiny plants maybe whack that tree? Oh, hold on one sec. Let me just water these and... Wait, I don't have to water them? Okay. Wait. I just heard that sparkly sound again. These trees? Or maybe you're thinking the big tree. Because I can't chop down the big tree. That's all good. Could definitely be in there. What's this place? Looks like a bakery. Ooh, delicious. Another, everyone's got different flavors of rug. What do you got? Butter flour. Cool. Good store. The game's like bugging out again. Also, I just noticed my chat box is like way up there. Chat box. Well, that's that quest done. So I guess I could just clear some more stuff. I mean, eventually I want to have this whole area clear, right? Oh, right. You can refill your water jug in this thing. I forgot. I ran all the way to the water and leapt in there. The music is just so buggy. Oh, that was a big, like, freeze. That's all of the soot on our property. Hell yeah, mining level two. Upgrade your logging level in order to buy some of the upgrades. 
or the stations. I don't really dig the season thing. I feel like it adds too much stress onto what is already sort of like a min maxi type of mindset. It's pretty much like why I couldn't get into Stardew Valley very much. It just got like way too stressful. Oh, it like recommended me eat something. That was cool. Wait, do I want to chop down that tree? Probably not. Wow, that stuff really doesn't give you much energy. I guess it's supposed to, like, just barely get you back home or something, right? I don't understand. Maybe I should check out... See what kind of load this game is putting on my computer. Anytime it tries to load something, it's just like... Crazy. Fay Farm. Let me use my storage. in there. Saying I'm hitting a hundred percent CPU usage, so maybe that's it. Fay Farm's like ticking all the way up to like sixty at some points. Fifty percent GPU. Yeah. Wait, just auto? Okay. I got a little bit of money. Not a whole lot. How much was that? The house upgrade was like $5,000, wasn't it? Rare critters and fish sparkle when seen in the wild. Okay. Wait, why am I here? Why did I wake up in town hall? Whoa, what is that fat guy? See that chonker?
Hey, a rockfish. Nice. All right, Eddie, give me my reward. I can smell the fish from here. I should probably introduce you to my sisters. They own a ranch in the plains of plenty. Taking care of farm animals can be very fulfilling. Also plain filling since they make so many tasty things like milk, eggs, and cheese. I always, I'll always love the sea, but I'll lick a loach for some cheese. Head on over to Erlene's shop, the Cluck and Doe. She and Loretta have been carrying on the family business of selling and breeding cooked chikus and cottontails. Sweet. I don't know why I woke up in Town Hall, but... Where am I going? Oh, way up there. Oh wait, I'm there. Up here? No. Up here. Hey, here we go. Give me them chikus. Oh. There's like an audio and visual error there. My sister can tell you everything about raising happy and healthy animals on your farm. I've been holding on to the key to that coop near your farm since no one was using it. Here, you can have it. Your coop can house the roundest of fluff balls, the cottontail, and my personal favorite, the chiku. After you purchase an animal, you need to register it at your coop ledger. This is important. If an animal isn't registered, it won't know where home is. You can also use the ledger to rename them. Only if you want. Loretta names our animals, and I think she does a pretty good job. Now this is a big step. This is another living creature that is now under your care. You need to let them out, feed them, give them attention, love them. So are you up for the challenge? Buy a chicken. Oh my god, look at these little guys. Get rid of these vines. Keep your dude safe. Wait, I thought... Yeah. Oh, do I buy it from her? Okay. Buy animal. Oh my god. What do I get? Creates cotton, gives eggs. I think I want one of these little guys. Flopsy. Love it. I love you, Flopsy. Come on. Oh no, I needed to buy a chiku specifically. Yeah, yeah. No. I will not sell you Flopsy. I love him. Oh. can't sell me one while one is following me, so... I have to go all the way back to... The coop? Register! Register, buddy. He's unsure. I mean, fair. To be real. I didn't realize that she was asking me to buy a specific animal from her. But that's okay, now I can have one of each. The quests give you a decent amount of money. Lil Peep! Aw, R.I.P. Lil Peep. Ah, uh, goodbye. This jump. Oh, nice. Who needs bridges? All right, let's register a little peep. Oh, I see. There's like slots. I get it. 
Little peep. Hey, bud. Where'd you go? Just ran inside. Yeah, I need to upgrade my CPU for sure. For sure. Okie dokie. You really gonna take this long to load the coop? What is happening? Is that just like the load error sends you there by default? I guess we can go hand in this quest while we're at it. Walk it down past Eddie. Now they've got a little chiku, it's time to hand over to my sister. Excited to meet and talk your ear off. Speaking of, Starfield just finished. I'm going to reset my comp before even trying to start optimize it. Well, good luck, good sir. Um, I appreciate you being here. I think I'm just going to check out... Okay, first off, we're going to water our plants but I think I'm going to wrap it up here um, I'll definitely be playing this off stream a bit it's pretty cool I like the variation I like that we've reached a point where we've taken all the best things from other farming games instead of having farming games that try to do different things oh. Oh. petting food fresh air plant fibers okay Oh, I can brush him? Cute. Okay, how do I let them out? Or do I just have to, like, get them to follow me? Oh, there we go. Getting some fresh air. He's pet. He's fed. Oh, the fresh air meter's gonna fill up. I get it. Cool. I like that. Um, yeah, so I think that getting to the point where we have what is that? Oh. Getting to the point where we have this game that's taken all of the best stuff from other games that people have enjoyed and love. Oh, there's a save function. Okay. And kind of amalgamating it into one experience is really cool because I think when Stardew came out and it kind of changed the game, literally, um, when it comes to, you know, cozy vibes or farming sims or anything like that. Um, you know, everyone took notice. And then a bunch of older games like Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing kind of had a resurgence. Um, especially during the pandemic, cozy gaming and Animal Crossing were the best thing since sliced bread. Um, and people need that kind of stuff. People like gaming with a cozy environment. Um and I think having a game like Fae Farm that kind of takes a little bit of everything and puts it into one, I'm really excited to keep playing more because we haven't checked out the dungeons yet. Um, 
We haven't really explored all of the shops quite yet. We're just trying to get through some of these chapters and the story to gain access to more of the parts of the game. So for now, it's just uh, kind of just a fun exploration of, of this world and getting used to the systems. Generally, I think it's really n nice. I think I'm going to keep playing this game. Uh, the writing is a little bit weird and awkward. It's a little kitty, which I sort of get. These games are sort of like made for kids in the long run. Um, but some of it is like weird or even bad. And then obviously the optimization isn't super strong either. It's really eating up my CPU. And like, sure, I don't have the top of the line PC, but it's not super great. And... Uh, hey, Casey. I'm just doing a little wrap-up here about my thoughts. Um, and, and so it's it's something where I'm like, I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to get access to more of the things. I'm not a huge Stardew guy because I think that it's not as much... There's not as much freedom in a game like Stardew and Fey Farm um, that I would like. It's a lot more mid-maxing. And the way my ADHD brain works is I try to get the most out of everything. I play magic and and I like challenging uh, strategy. So it's very difficult for me to play and enjoy a game like Stardew outright because I'm trying to get the most out of my season. I'm trying to get the most out of my yield. Uh, be the most efficient with my time and these games are so focused on specific um, what was I opening this for what did I want in here oh I wanted to go to keybinds so that's what I wanted to do rebinding um so basically it's it comes down to like this game has its hooks in me a bit because it's it's fun the aesthetic is there it's got an interesting kind of setup so far i want to see where this magic stuff goes but i think that ultimately a game like this needs more cooperative multiplayer where you know, if someone likes the farming and the min-maxing, they can do that. But if someone else wants to adventure and go dungeon exploring, they do that. Um, and there's not enough of that stuff in these kind of games. So it's a little bit difficult from there. I'm trying to, like, exit out of this menu so that I'm not just, like, talking over. Oh. Um... Yeah, I think if you're on the fence about Fae Farm, what the heck? Oh, this is the mapping. If you're on the fence about Fae Farm, give it a try. It's really, really cute. It's really adorable. I love what Phoenix Labs and the team is trying to do with it. Uh, and if you like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, any of those things, you have to check it out. It's definitely the culmination of all those great pieces there's lots of furniture and decorating to do there's lots of farm animal and and caretaking stuff to do i just got my chicken friend here little peep uh, i started a small little farm here i got some beans and some stuff can't remember what this is radishes got some beans and radishes going i bought a tree there's lots of cool stuff there needs to be some optimization and patching from the developers before this is smooth. I think that like my PC is kind of in the middle of what's kind of out there right now. There's definitely people with worse PCs than mine, and there's definitely people with better PCs than mine. And I've seen quite a bit of a struggle streaming and playing at the same time. So... Hopefully they work on optimizing it. There's a lot of audio bugs. Um, and maybe it's just not optimized for the PC that well. 
and hopefully they'll be able to to kind of make up for that in in a few patches and get those things kind of smoothed out as we go along. I still think it's worth the time and the uh, money if you're into these kind of games because this seems like it's going to be a perfect amalgamation of, of all those things that we like. So that's it for me. I'm going to take uh, some more time to care for my farm animals and adventure a bit and i hope that you guys had a good time hanging out i hope that you check out fay farm if it's up your alley and yeah i appreciate you super super much and i'll check you guys later